Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 4th of June. Election results nearly decided. I'm not sure about you, but I had a really exhausting day. I'm starting this recording at 7.45 today. Usually I start around 5, 5.30. The FIDI data is still not out. Seems like everyone is on election duty. This was broadly the graph of yesterday, which overwhelmed so many people. This is the graph of today. I'm not sure if today was semi-final or final because I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But the scales were roughly 1 is to 5 between yesterday and today. This is the graph of today. If you did not see what was happening in that day, you will see what is wrong with the graph. During the day, Nifty was 8.2% down at the peak. It was literally like it will hit a down circuit of minus 10% in the next 5-10 minutes. However, after that, there was a recovery. These ups and downs were literally 200 to 500 points kind of crashes and rallies throughout the day. Usually these are 20 point, 30 point kind of ups and downs. Just for example, this was 21,750 at 3 o'clock. Then we closed at literally 22,000. We went above that actually to nearly 22,100 in a span of 15 minutes. This is nearly 350 points kind of rally from the bottom around 3 o'clock. I honestly don't have the energy to discuss all the data points today. This is the graph for Nifty Bank because I already discussed the graph for Nifty. This fell continuously till about 1 o'clock. There was a very minor recovery only. Banks did not recover at all towards the end. As a result, Bank Nifty down 8%. Nifty closed 6% down. IT was a defensive for that day. In fact, TCS closed up 0.3%. FI data, DI data is still not out. I don't know what they did. However, I expect the overall numbers to be very high. The net numbers could be low. This would probably be a 30,000 crore kind of number combined, if not more. Yesterday, I said VIX might go 20% up also. It actually went to nearly 40% up at the peak. Then it reduced a bit. 27% up for the day. Don't expect tomorrow to be any kinder. This will probably be around 30 to 35 tomorrow as well. The satisfying part for me was that the most of the day played out the way I described it in yesterday's update. In fact, the plan has worked perfectly from last week. I had mentioned in last 5-7 updates that I have reduced my exposure to stocks considerably. Yesterday, I had mentioned it was a day to sell, not buy. I actually short sold Nifty yesterday. I didn't buy any stocks yesterday. Sector snapshot, banking down 8%, contributed to nearly 20% or fifth of the fall. Oil and gas, I have not seen it worse probably to my memory. The sector was down 10%. This includes the biggie reliance, 17% contribution to the fall. The third biggest was the electrical utilities and IPPs pack, the power pack. It fell 16%. It was not just Adani pack, NTPC, power grid, Tata power. Everything was down 15%, 20%. In fact, during that day, many of these stocks hit their lower circuit of 20%. The circuit got revised to 25% also. Fourth was aerospace and defense. It does not look that bad, but many of these stocks were down 25% in the middle of the day. They closed 17, 18% down, but that's a 7 to 8% improvement from the lowest point of the day. Till two days back, most of these stocks were in their 52 week high. Today, most of them are in the 60, 70% zone. This is the ferocity of the fall. Today broke the back of many shares. Nifty 50, 42 stocks down, 8 up. The 52 week column is literally empty now. Only four stocks remain. Reliance contributed the max fall 14% followed by SBI, which was the hero yesterday, 11%. Adani Pack Enterprises and Ports contributed to 7% of the fall and 6% of the fall. Note that the falls were nearly 20% here. I'm talking about the contribution to the index fall today. The blue chips like Coal India, Power Grid, all of them were down 12, 13, 14%. ONGC down 16%. NTPC down 15%. This is the perfect bloodbath definition. Literally, stocks were being thrown on the street with no buyers in the initial part of the day. Then in the second half, some buying came and some support came. Nifty also recovered significantly. Volumes were significantly high. Next 50, no better. 41 down, 9 up. Adani Energy, BEL, Adani Green, Adani Total, Hindustan Aeronautics. 
most of the defense and adani stocks were down literally 20% market caps were decimated the gains in nifty over 5 months were erased in less than 5 hours literally i think i mentioned it yesterday and i have definitely mentioned in the previous episodes that i have been buying consumption stocks today the consumption pack was up despite the huge falls now tomorrow could see a reversal of course nifty it actually did not fall much tcs was up 0.3% energy pack i had already talked about the private sector banks did not fall that much 5% 6% but they are very large in size the worst fall were in public sector banks this sector was in green and similar percentages yesterday most of the gains of yesterday are gone the volumes continued to be high the worst was people who bought at the peak yesterday and who woke up to 10 15% down levels today and sold out at this level these kind of violent moves destroy portfolios i did a bit of buying in stocks some are for trading some are for investment i don't know if i'll end up squaring off all the positions tomorrow if the markets go up i'll decide tomorrow only in line with strategy of my previous videos i did not necessarily buy the stocks i had sold last week i used to hold a lot of small caps in the microfinance space i have not bought them as of now i expect them to recover more slowly so i bought more of high beta stocks especially what is called these days modi pack for the simple reason it is highly likely that modi government will come back to power tomorrow though not with absolute majority so adani green bl canara bank hl ongc adani enterprises bank of baroda sbi this is an icici direct these are in zeroda all these positions are red right now because markets fell again after i bought this is an open position in the options market i'll come to that options trade i'll not get too much into detail today because a major trade is open in losses this is a very large trade that is why the losses are looking higher however there is a hardly 40 point gap if the nifty opens about a 1 1.5% up tomorrow this should get covered there were one or two bad trades where i lost a lot of money otherwise the day was fantastic this trade costed 1.4 lakh loss this one 20000 otherwise this profit would have been nearly 4 lakh today in fact if i had not closed the positions yesterday at 329 those are all short positions this profit would have been in excess of 7 8 lakhs now this position which is open right now if nifty opens in the red maybe 2% down then i will lose all this money also maybe slightly more only this is a very high risk trade i ideally should not have taken it but after today's opening i did not have the heart to lose this money because i do expect the markets to open up in the green tomorrow i could be totally wrong it all depends upon the coalition partners what they decide to do so what is likely tomorrow there are some uncertainties left bjp plus has two partners who will get very demanding overnight both the bihar cm and andhra cm they will need a lot for their states in exchange for the support to make the government the demands would be lot higher than what they were earlier bjp does not literally have any option besides agreeing to those right now now the india plus coalition may want to go all out they may even offer the prime minister position to the andhra cm maybe this is just a fictitious situation however they have nothing to lose because otherwise mr modi will again be the pm in any case so it will all depend upon these two parties whom they finally support right now they are supposed to be allies of the ruling party bjp plus or the nda and i have taken long positions both in the options market and stocks with the expectation that the bjp government is coming back to the power i still don't know whether the pm will be same or not that is for the party to decide and for the coalition partner to decide i am not speculating at all however even if the pm phase does change i don't think stock markets will mind too much stock markets tomorrow will look for a stable nda government bjp plus with the support of the two parties from bihar and andhra pradesh if even a single of these parties say they are jittery or unsure markets may tank again tomorrow maybe more than what happened today there will be bloodbath too in that case so don't let your guards down be prepared for tomorrow also there might be more opportunities if you did buying today just like i did you might be looking at 10 15 20% losses yet again tomorrow have something in strategy in your mind hope you have not burnt out all the cash and the ammunition especially if you have watched the video which i released sunday night hoping to make some money tomorrow finally i'm not counting today's gains as profit yet because of the open positions best wishes and i'll see you tomorrow